Manufacturing has been the lifeblood of the economy in Wichita, Kansas. One out of every five planes built in this country was made there. But folks in Wichita say Boeing double-crossed them when it suddenly announced plans to shut down the factory. We asked Jim Axelrod to look into it. Boeing has produced planes in Wichita since the 1920s, employing generations of workers like Ted Bates, an engineer for 34 years. You feel grateful? The NWS Storm Prediction Center has issued Tornado Watch Number 14, effective until 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time tomorrow morning. This watch includes the following counties, in Kansas, Harvey, Sedgwick, Sumner, Butler, Cowley, Greenwood, Elk, Chautauqua, Woodson, Wilson, Montgomery, Allen, Neosho, Labette, Bourbon, Crawford, and Cherokee, in Oklahoma, Osage, Nevada, Rogers, Mays, Craig, Ottawa, and Delaware, in Arkansas, Benton, Washington, Madison, Carroll, Newton, and Boone, in Missouri, Jasper, Newton, McDonald, Lawrence, Barry, Green, Christian, Stone, Taney, Ozark, Douglas, Wright, and Texas. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Widespread damaging tornadoes, some long-tracked, large destructive hail, destructive wind gusts, and dangerous cloud-to-ground lightning are possible in these areas. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Now for the 8 p.m. weather roundup. At Wichita, mostly cloudy. Temperature 84 degrees, 2.74, and the relative humidity 55%. Winds northeast at 25 miles per hour. The pressure was 29.94 inches and falling. Elsewhere across the region, Newton, partly cloudy. Temperature was 84 degrees, winds northeast at 20 miles per hour. Marion, partly cloudy. Temperature was 85 degrees, winds northeast at 18 miles per hour. Emporia, fair. Temperature was 88 degrees, winds northeast at 15 miles per hour. McPherson, partly cloudy. Temperature was 86 degrees, winds northeast at 21 miles per hour. Lyons, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 83 degrees, winds northeast at 27 miles per hour. Hutchinson, partly cloudy. Temperature was 85 degrees, winds northeast at 20 miles per hour. Kingman, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 84 degrees, winds northeast at 23 miles per hour. Pratt, cloudy. Temperature was 82 degrees, winds northeast at 27 miles per hour. Madison Lodge, thunderstorm in vicinity. Temperature was 78 degrees, winds northeast at 33 miles per hour. Harbor, cloudy. Temperature was 82 degrees, winds northeast at 22 miles per hour. Derby, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 84 degrees, winds northeast at 24 miles per hour. Wellington, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 85 degrees, winds northeast at 22 miles per hour. Winfield, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 85 degrees, winds northeast at 25 miles per hour. Arkansas City, cloudy. Temperature was 82 degrees, winds northeast at 27 miles per hour. Anthony, cloudy. 
temperature was 82 degrees, winds northeast at 23 miles per hour. El Dorado, mostly cloudy. Temperature was 85 degrees, winds northeast at 23 miles per hour. Eureka, partly cloudy. Temperature was 86 degrees, winds northeast at 19 miles per hour. Fredonia, fair. Temperature was 88 degrees, winds northeast at 17 miles per hour. Independence, fair. Temperature was 87 degrees, winds northeast at 17 miles per hour. Cothaville, sunny. Temperature was 90 degrees, winds northeast at 18 miles per hour. In the surrounding areas, Oklahoma City, sunny, 89 degrees. Tulsa, partly cloudy, 92 degrees. Kansas City, light rain, 80 degrees. Denver, fair, 79 degrees. Omaha, sunny, 87 degrees. The National Weather Service in Wichita has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Barber County in South Central Kansas, Kingman County in Southeastern Kansas, Harper County in Southeastern Kansas, until 9.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.39 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles southwest of Medicine Lodge, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour when gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This dangerous storm will remain over mostly rural areas of Barber, Kingman, and Harper counties. Locations impacted include Madison Lodge. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Wichita has issued a tornado warning for Northeastern Barber County in South Central Kansas, Kingman County in Southeastern Kansas, Northern Harper County in Southeastern Kansas, until 9.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.58 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 5 miles northeast of Medicine Lodge, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. At 8.52 p.m., spotters reported a rotating wall cloud in northeastern Barber County. Hazard, tornado and tennis ball size hail. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. People and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Expect shattered windows, extensive damage to roofs, siding, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Spivy, Rago, and Belmont. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building away from windows. Welcome back to our severe weather coverage. The tornado warning for Barber, Kingman, and Harper counties is set to expire in the next few minutes, despite a tornado being reported on the ground 12 miles northeast of Harper, 
in extreme northeastern Harper County. It looks as if the National Weather Service is going to issue a PDS tornado warning, based on what I'm seeing in the NWS chat. Oh, okay. For those of you who don't know, there are three types of tornado warnings. One is just a regular warning for a tornado that is radar indicated or it can also be one that is confirmed on the ground. Then there is the tornado emergency. This is very rare. It means that a large and destructive tornado is on the ground headed towards a highly populated area. There is also a PDS, or particularly dangerous situation, warning. This means that there is a tornado on the ground that is headed towards a slightly less populated area, and that is what this is. Now, the tornado seems to have taken a southern turn from our previous radar scan, which is a bit odd considering that the winds are gusting strongly to the northeast. Well, we see this a lot with storms that produce tornadoes. Sometimes they will turn east. Hold on, we just got the tornado warning relayed here. Please stand by as we activate the emergency alert system. The National Weather Service in Wichita has issued a tornado warning for northern Sumner County in southeastern Kansas, southern Sedgwick County in southeastern Kansas, until 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Milton, or 13 miles northeast of Harper, moving east-northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado and baseball size hail. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. People and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Expect shattered windows, extensive damage to roofs, siding, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Milton, Annis, Conway Springs, Viola, Clearwater, Peck, Belle Plain, Derby, and Mulvaney. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 27 and 38. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Okay. Now it looks like the tornado would be right on top of the community of Milton and to the northwest of Conway Springs. Right now. I think I can give an all clear to Conway Springs. However, if you live in NS or Viola, you need to take shelter immediately. This tornado is moving at interstate speed so you don't have one second to waste. Next in line would be clear water. Then, out to Peck and Mulvane. If you live in Peck or Mulvane, you probably have enough time to clean out the tornado shelter before it gets to you. Do you have any new tornado reports? Not in the past 10 minutes, but as it goes through Milton we may get some in a few minutes. Baseball size hail has been reported with this storm all the way from Medicine Lodge, so we certainly have ourselves a very impressive storm on our hands. That's right. A severe thunderstorm warning still remains in effect for northern Sumner and the bottom half of Sedgwick County. Baseball size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. The National Weather Service also put in the warning that this is a very dangerous storm and that it is capable of all types of severe weather. Also, based on the newest radar scan, it looks like we can see a debris signature. And maybe it's turning more north as well. Hopefully not. 
If this thing does move north, God knows what would happen to Wichita. This reminds me of the El Reno tornado. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It is turning north. If it were to keep moving north, it would move out of the tornado warning polygon in just a few minutes. It's going to be interesting to see what the National Weather Service will do over the next few minutes. Okay, we are going to reset here in a second. You're listening to your weather radio. Station KC59, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.550 MHz. The current time is 9.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The following is a summary of watches and warnings. The NWS Storm Prediction Center has issued Tornado Watch Number 14, effective until 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Emergency for Sedgwick County. The National Weather Service in Wichita has issued a tornado warning for Sedgwick County in southeastern Kansas until 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a confirmed large, violent, and destructive tornado was located near Viola, erratically moving north to east at 55 miles per hour. Tornado Emergency for Sedgwick County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Amnes, Viola, Cheney, Garden Plain, Clearwater, Goddard, Hayesville, Derby, Chalt, Oakland Sunview, Wichita, Downtown Wichita, Eastboro, Wichita State University, McConnell Air Force Base, Beach Factory Airport, Bel Air, Park City, Mays, College, Valley Center and Mount Hope. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Wow. They really just issued a tornado emergency for the whole county. I don't believe this. Well, we have strict rules we have to follow now. All non-essential staff needs to go underground now. We only need one news anchor, cameraman, two producers, and two meteorologists. Wait. Leave the water bottle. Okay. Now, back to the storm. We have Mike and Julie tracking it in the weather van. Mike, Julie, can you hear me? Yes. Loud and clear. What do you guys see? Right now, we are going south on Highway 42 and we are about 5 miles southwest of Schild. Right now we are just getting hail and blinding rain. Alright. The tornado is actually getting really close to you guys, so please be careful. As you were talking, a brick and a few shingles just blew our right passenger door out. I think debris is falling out of the sky here. We're turning around and coming back. Okay. Please do get the hell out of there. 
radar is now indicating two tornadoes on the ground. We're looking at twins now. for the Wichita metro area. The tornado warning remains in effect for eastern Sedgwick County until 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was located one mile west of the Highway 42 Interstate 235 Interchange, or five miles southwest of downtown Wichita, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. The entire city of Wichita is in dire peril. This is a mass casualty situation with the damage expected to easily eclipse that of the Moore tornado of May 2013. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit size hail. At 10.05 p.m., the public reported two large wedge tornadoes on the ground. The public also reported that Highway 42 was stripped of road three miles southwest of Schalt. At 10.12 p.m., National Weather Service meteorologists reported a 3.5-mile-wide tornado entering Wichita city limits. Source, Public and National Weather Service meteorologists. Impact, you are in a life-or-death situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed, picked up, and launched miles from their original location. Complete destruction to homes businesses, and vehicles is likely and it is possible that nothing will remain in localized areas. This potentially cataclysmic storm will be near, Oakville by 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Downtown Wichita by 10.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Wichita State University and Eastboro by 10.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Bel Air, Colonel James Javara Airport and Beach Factory Airport by 10.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Greenwich by 10.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take shelter underground. If you do not have an underground shelter, relocate to one immediately. The storm is producing all types of severe weather, including damaging tornadoes, large destructive hail to the size of grapefruits, and destructive winds in excess of 80 miles per hour. If you do not relocate underground, you may face certain death. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Sedgwick County Emergency Management. The city of Wichita has taken a direct hit from an unprecedented tornado that nobody, even in Kansas, thought was imaginable. About four-fifths of the city is without power, and most structures have either been leveled, swept off their foundation, and there are chunks of the city, particularly in the southwestern corner of town, where nothing is left. Large portions of houses were also reported 30 miles away. Most roads are either impassable due to damage or are scoured throughout the city. Injuries and fatalities have been reported, both are believed to be in the tens of thousands. The Wichita Police Department recommends that residents stay in their shelters until an all clear is given. Stay tuned for further updates regarding the situation. The following message is transmitted by the Harbor, Kingman, Barber, Sumner, and Sedgwick County Emergency Management Offices. There have been reports stating that small alien-like creatures have been spotted roaming the affected counties. It has also been confirmed that these creatures were hatched out of grapefruit-sized capsules, similar in appearance to the hail that fell across the area last night. These creatures are not hostile at this time, however, you should not approach them in any manner as the predictability of these creatures is unknown. If they become hostile, emergency services may be unavailable due to damage. Stay tuned for further updates regarding the situation. <laughs> 